it has been a long week. I don't know how you feel, <laughs> but are you good with just Chipotle tonight? Do you want the like burrito, taco, quesadilla? You don't care? Anything? Uh-oh, did you spill your rice on the ground? Oh, thank you. Thank you for the hug. I'm not mad. Toddlers spill things. So do grown-ups. Oh, I'm stepping on it. Let's get this cleaned up. Oh, Bella, you don't have to vacuum. That's okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you for vacuuming. That is a help. I don't mind cleaning. That is one of my jobs in this house. All right, let's see. Can I go through your backpack? Yeah, okay. Let's try to pull out everything and kind of see what we have from school. If you are opening up a restaurant, what food would you serve? Hey, Bella, I'm playing school with your brother. Do you want to come play with us and maybe you can pretend to be the teacher? Let's go through what everyone's jobs are in the house. I can make dinner. Chris will clean up the dishes. So do you want to help empty the dishwasher or set the table? Which ones do you want? They're the same pant, same price. Which one do you like more? Unicorns? Good choice. I love this one too. Bella is so creative. She is great at Legos and puzzles. I love to hear her sing and dance. Chris, I know you really want pizza tonight. I am personally not in the mood, so I'm gonna make a turkey sandwich and order pizza. Um, Bella, how are you feeling tonight? Thank you for sharing that with me. I know it's not easy to talk about things like this sometimes. And I know it's also not easy to, to say no. And I care about you a lot and your needs matter to me. I am a little concerned because typically kids at her age um, are not as agreeable and are more opinionated and not as excited to jump into doing chores, but she tends to agree with everyone and is always cleaning and hugging and saying, I'm sorry. And I'm a bit worried that it might be related to some of her past experiences. 